Welcome to the shed. This is Iced Out Images uh, with another wax review. Um, I would have done this earlier today, but I've been working on my uh, my kitchen all day. Um, got the dishwasher in, got the stove in, mounted the cabinets, built the corner one, new new uh, new vents for all my uh, uh, air exchanges, heat exchange vent, whatever the fuck they're called. I forget but they're vent covers or whatever so this one is going to be uh, another healing tree wellness center first uh full plant run one gram nightmare og we have it in the dab container this ginormous one that makes it look like nothing so i looked this one up before i started doing the video and it says for the flavoring that has like a berry lemony kind of thing with almost like a like a piney OG taste at the end from what Leafly was saying. Can't remember exactly what the mother and father plants names were, but one was like OG 18 or OS something. I don't fucking remember. Stoner mind. But yeah, we're just gonna heat it up, take a dab. See what we think. You know, when I when I smell it, I definitely get um, like like the citrusy berry flavor uh, scent. So this broke up like shatter inside the thing, so you can see the piece rolling away. But it's also been sitting outside in the freezing cold, so we're just gonna heat this up. I'm gonna use the whip it again. Hopefully, everyone had a fantastic weekend. Um, hopefully, everyone stayed safe. Um, once again, to all the new subscribers, thanks for coming, thanks for watching. Um, like I've said in many videos, without you guys, I'm just a dude smoking weed in front of his cell phone. <laughs> um, so I figured I'll try to give as much insight to people as possible when it comes to what I'm smoking on and what my views are. Um, some of you will find it interesting or informative. Others, you know, aren't going to dig my energy because I'm not like super like up in your face, like super like out there, I guess. Put down the hatch. <clears throat> Definitely getting berry right up front, like a berry. And then you get the <coughs> that strong piney right in the back of the throat. <clears throat> but I definitely get a uh, the berry flavoring up front. <coughs> ah, excuse me. With a strong piney, um, woody type aftertaste. Otherwise, that is very, very tasty. The aftertaste isn't bad, as I've stated in a lot of my videos. I'm not huge into the earthy piney tastes. I like that sweet, uh, berry, lemony, citrusy type flavoring that a lot of the weeds come with. But lately I've noticed that a lot of the ones that I've been smoking that say that have a woody, piney, earthy aftertaste. So it's not bad. I would definitely recommend any of the Healing Tree Wellness Center ones that I've been getting lately to anyone. You know, you want a deal, go get the seven for a hundred uh, full plant run ones. If uh, you want the Nug Run, I think that's gonna cost you Four for a hundred, or sometimes five, maybe. I don't know. Don't quote me on that one, though. But they're always running deals on different types. So you can get some that are um, eight for a hundred, seven for a hundred, I think four for a hundred, all the way down to probably two for a hundred, depending on the quality of uh, the wax and stuff that you want. But Jim Becker, uh, you asked me a question through my actual messenger, my actual messenger. Um, I was doing my cabinets, as I said, I'll get back to you. 
Uh, I'm just going to say it through this video. Um, depending on the money I have at the time, I, I like the live better or the diamonds. That shit is fucking fire. It's phenomenal. But as I said, you're looking at like two to almost 300 for five G's. Um, but for my everyday smoke where I'm just, you know, hitting it like every God knows how many hours, um, you know, that's why I reviewed a shit ton of these, uh, cause that's typically what I'm smoking on with the occasional, you know, other choices of say like North or next level, or, um, I still got to try some of the slab gods. Um, I want to try the Alpha Buds wax. I've, I've had a bunch of their flower, so I, I definitely want to try some of their wax. Which I feel I'm going to be able to get my hands on that shit way easier soon. Um, December 1st, Warren, Ferndale, Ann Arbor are a few to name that should be able to have recreational sales as soon as December 1st hits. Um, with stores being in place. Other ones being places like, say, The Reef and things like that. But if they're located on 8 Mile... 8 Mile, I don't think they're going to get the recreational sales due to the ban that Detroit put. Um, out of 1,700 and something cities, 1,400 have voted it down. But they also don't get their share of the tax revenue that comes from that. Um, so tough fucking cookies. Um, get on board. Get some revenue. Fix some roads. Just because the store is in your city doesn't guarantee that kids are going to get their hands on it all the time. If they want it, they're going to get it. How do you think they've been getting it this entire time? They haven't been going to stores showing IDs doing that. They've been buying it from a drug dealer. A buddy, a friend, or whatever. That's, you know, how everyone pretty much started off buying their shit. Started going down to like 6 and 7 Mile. Uh, 7 and McNichols. Uh, shit like that, like way back in the day. Like in... Uh, early 2000s and shit, like 2004, 2005, like taking rides down to Detroit to pick up dime bags and shit. <laughs> um, you know, thinking that, hey, today might be the day that they jack your car. It happened to a couple of my friends going down there. Uh, he went down there in a fucking expedition on fucking 20s or 22s and guy backed the van out of the driveway. He waited like he was going to turn and then another one backed out behind him and they, they took his shit. You know, it, shit happens. You know, it sucks when it does, but it does happen. But I used to take that drive. I wasn't in anything nearly as nice. So I don't, I don't think they really wanted to steal my car. And clearly I'm down there buying dime bags. So I'm not trying to buy no weight. So, you know, I'm not rocking no jewelry or none of that. They were just like, ah, oh, it's just a white boy that wants some drugs. Fuck it. I bought my weed and I went home. Now I don't have to do that shit. And now I get to cut out the middleman and all that shit. I can just go to the store and buy that shit myself. Um, it's what I've been waiting on. Um, wasn't sure if I was going to see it in my lifetime, but I always prayed and hoped I would. Um, so here we are as a stoner nation getting ready. Um, what is it? Um, they just put it in the vote for, uh, or on the ballot or docket or whatever the fuck the wording was, um, for Lansing and like DC and shit like that for uh, uh, full United States, you know, lifting the ban on it completely. So it'd be full recreational across the entire United States. Um, if it doesn't happen this time around, next time it gets voted on, I'm sure it will because of all the other states that are gonna be jumping on this. Um, eventually when enough states have done it, Everything else is just going to fall in line, just like medical. Once medical marijuana hit enough states, uh, recreational started. And then as soon as recreational started, that started sprouting to all the other states too. And um, here we are. We got a bunch of states doing it. Um, more joining. I think Illinois was the other one that's in the middle of doing 2020. Um, there was talks about New York and New Jersey. So we'll see what happens with them. Other than that, hopefully uh, one of my next uh, major videos will be me actually taking a camera, drive into a place, have it record me walk in, have it record me walk out, and uh, then put it on a table and do start doing reviews on the, on the shit that I bought myself. 
So it'd be like my first experience, like going, other than going to Green Vet donation to where I can legally go buy something with my 21 and older ID. So this is just me being really high and rambling. Um, my Mer OG, Healing Tree Wellness Center. Um, really, really good high. It's a hybrid. Um, I didn't see, but I'm going to assume that it is a um, Indica hybrid. I'm feeling it in my eyes. I'm feeling relaxed a bit, uh, whether or not you noticed that with uh, the way I was talking. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to say Indica dominant hybrid Nightmare OG. I like it. Go get it if you can. Test it out yourself and come back, comment below. Let's chit chat about it and uh, let's continue trying to pass more information. So that's pretty much all I have to say on it. Um, I use the MJ Arsenal piece, the Whip It Torch, and then the Healing Tree Wellness Center full plant run Nightmare OG. Um, other than that, if you're in the market for a uh, uh, cartridge battery, www.aovape.com uh, the C-Roll battery go get it I, you won't be disappointed I, I love mine So, peace out guys, sub like, comment see you in the next video